Shadowlands Afterlife Arden Wield. Let's watch. The wild tremble before my fury. Rex has really let Misha get out of control. Isn't that Ursilk? I return at last to the long slumber, to the great forest beyond, until I may serve the wilds again. It's all right, isn't it? Get killed, go off to this place. Looks all right, isn't it? Why so sad? Feels like I'm watching a movie now. I'm going to call this guy... Simba. Simba the Satyr. Welcome to my grove, friend. My queen. My queen! I shall protect these souls through their winter. I shall see them reborn in their spring. No matter what trial I face. She's big. I swear it, my queen. You guys can hear this, okay, can you? Season after season of this drought. Here. Here. It's so little. I know. What was he even looking after? Is this the bear or something, or have I missed something? It's like a form of the bear. It must be done. Reclaim everything from this grove. All oh, right, it is the bear then. These are the badass satyrs or centaurs. This is my grove. You Damn. will not destroy them! Well, that got out of hand. Aralon, we are not your enemy. Jeez. Anyone who threatens my grove is my enemy. I swore an oath. My queen. It was her idea. Faith. All this time that you would save us. And now you send... Scavengers to my grove? Why? Let's tell Drussel all over again. your grove so that others might live will you sacrifice one soul for the forest entire or will you keep your oath it's just a bear it's just Ursoc. it's not that big a deal your heart is pure <laughs> I will break you your choice Yeah. 
Your heart is pure, that is why it would be most enjoyable crushing it. One last time, you serve the wilds. You will not be forgotten. Forgive me, friend. Unlucky air sock. I will hunt for you, my queen. For Ardenweald. And for the souls we can yet save. I swear it. I swear it. Damn. That went really freaking quick. Well, I did enjoy that because that went so fast. I think the cinematography and the actual sort of just beautiful aesthetics is just kind of like a... It felt like watching a movie a little bit, to be honest. Simba the Simp. <laughs> oh, my. Well, you know, she is his queen. And, you know, you got to do what the queen wants, especially in that kind of regime. This isn't just some sort of, you know, uh, it's the it's the queen from England or something like that. It's just more of a kind of mascot more than anything else. This is this is like she's the head honcho of that place. So if he goes against her, he's going to get absolutely destroyed. So I don't know if he's necessarily a simp for that, because essentially it's just self preservation. Like what what do you think's gonna what good is going to come from him going against her? They just kill him on the spot. I thought that was really, really nice. Like, uh, I guess I'm not sort of following the story that well, because essentially that's Ursic's soul. He's supposed to be protecting it, but then he goes against that because she says you have to sacrifice it or something like that to protect the greater good. Like, that's the kind of general gist. I didn't really get the story other than that, but I think the whole sort of animation of the whole piece was actually really, really nice. See what some of the comments say. We have cold or grove so that others might live. Arthur's is that a Cullen eye here? <laughs> is this any excuse to bring Arthur's back into Shadowlands? Is that a Cullen eye here? You will not be forgotten. I must be forgotten. No one must know what happened this day. The souls will fuel the rest of the forest to prevent it from dying. I see. How does each of the places work, though? Like, it feels like they get a bit of a rough deal, don't they? Like, if they die, they come back, but they're stuck in this form where they have to be looked after for a long time before they can actually be released again. Whereas in Bastion, unless it was just Ufa specifically, he was just, like, basically teleported straight to Bastion. It's like, oh, you're dead? Okay, you're in Bastion now, and you can move about and do things. Oh, it was Ufa specifically. Oh, okay, fair enough. I was going to say, you know, it's, you know, Ufa got a pretty good deal, considering. He could have been stuck in this ball or something like that. Yeah, the male Draxis one was obviously the weakest one. Like, no one cares about Draka, so it's a pretty hard sell, that one. I don't think, like, who's really going to join the male Draxis Covenant? Because essentially, the Covenant is going to tell a story, so when you're leveling up... Are you really going to care about Draka? Are you really going to be invested in that story? Probably not. You know why this is the best one, though, to watch? Is because of what follows. Kaelfass. Kaelfass has to be the next one. And that's the one I'm looking forward to the most. Because these are three done so far, and they've got four covenants, right? Unless they do one on the moor itself. The last one isn't about Kaelfass. What? I'll be upset if that's the case. It better be about Kaelfass. My demise accomplishes nothing. Don't look so smug. This was merely a setback. 
I'd love to see that again. I would absolutely love that. I mean, he's one of the head honchos, isn't he? Of, like, the next Covenant. So, well, we'll see, I guess. They really don't like trees in this game. Yeah, I was thinking of Tail Dressel in that aspect. Well, there it is. That's Shadowlands Afterlife's Arden World. Pretty good, definitely. Uh, is it as good as the UFO one? Hmm. No, but I think there's more of a story with the UFO one and there's more of a relation with the UFO one. These are like new characters, so I don't think this can match up to that. But I think the animations in this one is probably the best. Like the actual sort of like beauty and the music and the sound effects, it all sort of worked really well for me. But yeah, this would be second, I think, so far. With Maldrax's Draco one easily being third and inevitably fourth. Because no matter how bad the next one is, I don't think it's going to be as bad as the Maldraxxus one. Not that the Maldraxxus one was terrible. It's just it's not going to be as good as the others. It's just the way I look at it. All right. So 